morning dear student let us start the class today we are going to learn about comparing numbers in the third chapter numbers okay so comparing means we have to find which is greater which is smaller okay we have to compare between the numbers before starting the class let us revise what we have learned in the last class in the last class we have learned about number names we have learned about place value and we have learned about abacus okay so in the abacus we have placed the number using the small small bits number name means names of the number you have learned from 1 to 99 or 100 okay and the place value is which tell us about the position of the number using the place value chart that is ones and tens okay so today we are going to compare numbers In the first chapter, do you remember the special words to tell us about the position of the cat? Particularly, there was an example of a cat playing with a ball. Okay, so sometimes the ball was behind the cat. Okay, sometimes it was in front. Sometimes top, top, bottom. Okay, so these are the various special words we have learned about how the cat and the ball according to their position. In this chapter numbers, we are going to learn, use three words that is. before after and between before means whatever is in front in front of me that thing is before whatever is behind me it is known as after okay so you are before me the board is behind me and i am between the you and the board my position is between you and the board okay so i have taken here three example one is a flower the second is a house and the third is a star okay now i can say the flower is before the house the flower is before the house the star is behind the house okay the star is behind the house and the house is between the flower and the star between the flower and the star this word before between and behind tells us about the position of things here i have taken three things in another way you can use this words to tell the position of number as well okay so if here one is an example where you have to tell the before and after number okay so the number 2 is given here what is before 2 so before 2 it is 1 we already know that okay and what is after 2 so it is 3 all right that means 2 is between 1 and 3 before means whatever the number is in front of 2 and after means whatever number is after behind 2 for example here two digit number i have taken that is 21 what is before 21 it is 20 and what is after 21 it is 22 Okay, forty nine. What is before forty nine? It is forty eight. What is after forty nine? It is fifty. You have to tell the before and after number using whatever is given in the question. Ninety eight, which is before ninety eight? It is ninety seven. And after ninety eight? It is ninety nine. So these are the position of the number. We know one, two, three, four, five, ten, hundred. Everything is fixed. You cannot change the number. but we can remember and we know that okay which number will come before which number will come after okay these are the three words we are going to use when we are going to compare the number now there is another type of comparing okay these are about the position of number though we are comparing it is tells us about the position of number here we are going to compare which is bigger and which is smaller okay in one hand i have two toffees and in the other hand I have five toffees. Which hand I have more toffees? The left hand. Okay. So to compare the numbers, we are going to use three signs here. This sign is known as the greater sign. This sign is known as the smaller sign, and these two signs are known as the equal sign. Small two dash are given here. So we are going to compare the number here, three and seven. Which is bigger? The number seven is bigger. If the number seven is bigger than three, then we put this sign pointing towards the the arrow sign pointing towards seven. Ninety nine and ninety seven, which is bigger? Ninety nine. So I'll put 
in this way. The third one 50 and 50. So which is bigger? Both are equal. So I'll put the equal sign here. So in this way we can compare the numbers using this sign. And this tells us about the position of the number. Let us recall again. Comparing numbers, it will tell you about the position of the number using the three words before, after and between. We can also find the before and after number of the particular number, whatever is given in the question. And then we can compare what is the bigger number, which is the smaller number and which is the equal number using this three sign that is greater, smaller and equal sign. Okay, so with this I conclude my video for today. Thank you and have a nice day.